Scientists have created RNA which evolves, possibly revealing the origins of life. That in a report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. People have been asking where life comes from ever since humans could communicate. Now, a new study may have finally found evidence pointing to the true origins of life on Earth. Scientists in Japan have become the first to create an RNA molecule that can replicate diversify, and develop complexity on its own. Simply put, it can evolve. Yikes! Not sure where this is going, but, <laughs> you know, when I buy Lav Culture yogurt, <laughs> I don't want there to be a tiny cow in there when I open the package. <laughs> or a big one, for that matter. Although free steak is always good. According to the scientists, the breakthrough is providing the first empirical evidence that simple biological molecules can eventually transform into complex life forms. Well, many people may be familiar with Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, especially the images of the apes evolving into humans. Scientists wanted to explore the evolution of molecules to cells to apes. <laughs> I always got that picture confused with the Beatles' Abbey Road album cover. I don't know why. Google it. You'll see what I mean. Let's look back four billion years, shall we? One theory over the last few decades has been that RNA molecules existed on Earth right after the planet's formation. The hypothesis is that RNA proteins and other biological molecules started to self-replicate and create diverse and more complex molecules around back after the new baby Earth was just formed. Ah, This process may have led to the emergence of life as we know it, moving from the dinosaurs to the plants and animals we see today. And here I thought life started in God's college refrigerator. <laughs> well, I swear I created life forms in there. I'm kidding, of course. The team at the University of Tokyo says they have successfully witnessed this evolutionary process with RNA. This diagram shows how RNA molecules were incubated in water and oil droplets at 37 degrees Celsius for five hours. The solution was then diluted to one-fifth the concentration using new droplets containing RNA-free nutrients and stirred vigorously. When this process was repeated multiple times, mutations occurred. I have a tiny question here. You maybe want to stop the train from moving too fast? Are we sure we want to be messing around with Mother Nature's Legos? I mean, we don't want to evolve ourselves right off the planet, do we? Am I right? Anywho, unlike past studies, researchers say they used a unique RNA replication system that successfully goes through the steps of Darwinian evolution. This means that the molecules undergo a, quote, self-perpetuating process of continuous change based on mutations and natural selection, unquote. That's according to the study. That evolutionary process allows different characteristics to appear, including ones which adapt to their environment and survive. Assistant Professor Ryo Mizuchi explained, quote, in evolutionary biology, the competitive exclusion principle states that more than one species cannot coexist if they are competing for the same resources. This means that the molecules must establish a way to use different resources, one after another, for sustained diversification. They are just molecules, so we wondered if it were possible for non-living chemical species to spontaneously develop such innovation. Unquote. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Researchers say that this is just the beginning and that, quote, many more events should occur towards the emergence of living systems. <laughs> Wait a minute. See, that's where I start to get worried. What if this evolving RNA thinks the next best environment is the empty space where my brain is supposed to be? <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't come to that, although it might be an improvement. <laughs> Check out more detail in the link in the description below on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.